गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन दिस इज द सेशन सिक्स फ्रॉम दी प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ जे एडवांस पार्ट टू एंड टूडे आई हैव टेकन वन क्वेश्चन विच वॉज आस्ट इन द जे एडवांस पेपर इन द ईयर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी सो दिस इज द सेशन नंबर सिक्स एंड द टॉपिक इज द इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक फोर्स इन अ डायलेक्ट्रिक लिक्विड so the question here is two identical non conducting solid spheres of same mass and charge are suspended in air from a common point by two non conducting massless strings of same length so in order to save the time i have already drawn here one figure in which these two uh, non conducting spheres that is a and b they are uh, suspended by uh, this uh, common point Uh, with the help of these two massless strings of equal length and uh, here the uh, uh, in the equilibrium state the angle between the string is alpha that is this angle a o b is alpha now since the length of the strings are equal and the mutual electrostatic force between these two non conducting spheres is also the same therefore the angle made by these two strings with the vertical will be alpha by 2 as i have already indicated here the tension always acts away from the body so the tension the direction of the tension will be as indicated by these two arrows so here for uh, solving this question i have taken only one sphere in uh, um, i mean i have taken only this sphere a for solving this uh, question and so uh in the first case these this entire system is suspended in the free air uh, in and uh, the this electrostatic force here will be balanced by the horizontal component of this tension in the string i have already resolved this tension into two components one is the vertical one and one is the horizontal one so this horizontal component will be balancing the electrostatic force between these two non conducting spheres and this vertical component will be balancing the weight of this sphere so uh, i will be getting here two equations in the first case when both these two spheres are suspended in free air so the first equation will be that is t in the state of equilibrium this t cos alpha by 2 will be equal to the weight of this uh, sphere and t sin alpha by 2 will be equal to the fe where fe is the electrostatic force between these two non conducting spheres <coughs> now this entire system is now immersed in a liquid of density 800 kg per cubic meter and the dielectric constant of that liquid is 21 that is the value of k is 21 or we can also say that is the, the relative permittivity of that medium is equal to 21 now <clears throat> in the second case when it is immersed in the uh, liquid then in that case the uh, the, uh, the this the tension in the string will change and so in the second case what i am doing is i am just taking the tension in the string as t dash but since here the uh, you can see uh, in this question the spheres are now immersed in a dielectric liquid of uh, density 800 kg per cubic meter and, and dielectric constant of k, k of 21 but the angle between the strings remain the same after the immer uh, this immersion so if the angle between the strings remain the same after the immersion then we can say that that this and if the tension in the string is now t dash the t dash cos alpha by 2 this will be equal to the weight of the this uh, sphere which is acting in the downward direction minus the buoyant force the buoyant force will be uh, due to the weight of the liquid displaced and this will be acting in the upward direction so this will be equal to v rho g where v is the volume of the liquid displaced rho is the density of the liquid and g is the acceleration due to gravity and t dash sin alpha by 2 this will be equal to the new electrostatic force of repulsion between these two non conducting sphere 
which here uh, uh, means so uh, when it is immersed I will be taking this electrostatic force let us say as uh, Fe dash and this will be equal to what this will be equal to Fe divided by K see the electrostatic force is given by 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into epsilon r divided by into in this case since the charge on both the spheres are the same so let us if, if the let us consider that the charge on each sphere is q so this will be equal to q square divided by the separation between them let us take it as r so this so this so the electrostatic force between these two non-conducting sphere will be given by 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught epsilon r into q square upon r square in the free space this relative permittivity is equal to 1 so in free space uh, the since the, uh, uh, we can say that this uh, f let us say I am just writing it here as uh, uh, f e so this will be equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q square upon r square and this is the electrostatic force in free space now in the case of uh, uh, this entire system uh, um, uh, placed in the uh, this liquid of uh, dielectric uh, constant uh, uh, k having a value equal to 21 so in that case the new electrostatic force f let us say it is f e dash this will be equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught this into this epsilon r and this the value of this uh, epsilon r is 21 this dielectric constant or this relative permittivity are the same thing so uh, here uh, this uh, fe dash that is the new electrostatic force of repulsion between the two non-conducting sphere when they are immersed in the liquid this will be equal to what this will be equal become equal to fe divided by 21 so, uh, so here uh, this t uh, t dash sine alpha by two this will equal to uh, f e dash where f e dash is the new uh, this electrostatic force of repulsion and uh, this will be equal to f e upon k and this will be equal to f e upon twenty one. So I got four equations now. Now let us uh, consider that this is the equation number 1, this is the equation number 1, this is the equation number 2, this is the equation number 3 and this is, uh, we can say this is the equation number 4. So from equation number 1 and 2, I can write that T sin alpha by 2 divided by T cos alpha by 2, this is equal to tan alpha by 2 and this is equal to Fe divided by Mg. Let us consider this equation as 5 and now similarly from equation 3 and 4 I will be getting tan alpha by 2 this will be equal to what Fe upon 21 Fe divided by 21 Mg minus V rho G let us say this is the equation number 6 So, so from equation number 5 and 6 uh, I can uh, write that Fe upon Mg this is equal to uh, Fe upon Mg will be equal to Fe divided by 21 Mg minus V rho G. So from here this Fe and Fe will get cancelled out and I will be getting Mg is equal to 21 in bracket Mg minus V rho G. Now what I will be doing is I will be dividing this equation on both sides by M so I will be getting just G is equal to 21 uh, G minus V rho G upon m so from here 
from this equation this g uh, if i divide this equation on both sides by g i will be getting as if 1 is equal to 21 1 minus v rho upon m now uh, this equation can be written as 1 is equal to 21 1 minus rho m upon v okay this can be this uh, v rho divided by m can be written as rho m divided by v now m divided by v see here uh, this uh, uh, this rho is the density of this liquid so this can be written as just wait here so this can be written as I'm just writing it here that is 1 is equal to 21 1 minus 800 and this m upon v will be equal to the mass density of the sphere which is I am just taking it as d so now So it implies that 1 is equal to uh, 21 1 minus 800 upon D and we can see that this is equal to 1 upon 21 1 minus 800 upon D so I will just take this uh, this term on the left hand side of this equation and this 1 upon 21 on the right side so 800 upon d will be equal to 1 minus 1 upon 21 so this is equal to 21 minus 1 that is 20 upon 21 so this is equal to 40 so we get 40 upon d is equal to 1 upon 21 or implies that the mass density of the sphere of the this non-conducting sphere this will be equal to uh, 21 into 4 is equal to 840 kg per cubic meter so so we have found the mass density of the sphere which is equal to 840 kg per cubic meter so the first one thing is that the mass uh, this uh, option c is correct but now we have to see uh, whether the other three options are correct or not so here we can see here the this the tension in the string will change so this is not the, uh, the correct option the the electrostatic force now here you, we have already just seen while solving this question that the electrostatic force when it was immersed in the liquid this was equal to Fe upon 21 where Fe was the uh, was the magnitude of the electrostatic force in the free space and so Fe dash is the electrostatic force when this entire system is immersed in the liquid so this electrostatic force or you can say the mutual force of repulsion the mutual force of electrostatic repulsion between these two non-conducting sphere has got reduced the magnitude has got reduced so here we can say that this option B is also correct so here in this question there are two options which are correct that is b and c so i uh, uh, i think that you must have understood the solution of this problem the most important thing which you have you all have to remember in this question is that the electrostatic force of uh, this attraction or repulsion f is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught into epsilon r then q1 q2 let us see here it is q1 q2 upon r square so here this epsilon r is the relative permittivity or which is also known by and the uh, this uh, another term that is the dielectric constant so when it was immersed in this uh, liquid of density 800 kg per cubic meter this uh, the new uh, electrostatic force of repulsion 
will be uh, uh, will be obtained by putting the value of this uh, relative probability equal to 21 in this case. So that was the most important thing and then we have derived, uh, we have got the equation, four equations, uh, two equations from the first case and the two equations when the uh, this entire system was immersed in the liquid of this density 800 kg per cubic meter and from those four equations we were able to find the mass density of the sphere which is equal to 840 kg per cubic meter. So option B and C are correct in this case and this question was asked in the this IIT JEE advance uh, paper in the year 2020. So thank you very much for joining this session and I hope you have understood the solution of this question. In the next uh, session I will be um, taking up another question which uh, has been asked in the this advanced uh, in the JE advanced paper in the uh, previous years and uh, till then have a nice day. Bye.